Hey, it's Joe Lines, and I'm going to be recording a bunch of these uh, playing around with APIs, web service APIs in particular. And hopefully you caught the uh, webinar we did on them. It was a good intro. Granted, it's two hours, but it's an enormous topic, lots to cover. Um, here I'm going to be demonstrating things. I don't think I'm going to be... I, I have a syntax writer I'm working on that will help do stuff, but right now I'm just going to demonstrate some of the calls, how you can start understanding what to put in there, um, and various things like that. So this first one I'm going to play with... It's a. It's from a full contact. So full contact is a uh, developer um, tool where you can look up um, information about people and companies and whatnot. And so here's some of the documentation here. Um, in let's see this example here. It's looking at the company API overview. And so the endpoint, which you see down here. Okay. So here's here. Let me see. It should well. This is the end. This part right here is the endpoint up to that question mark. And then you pass it, in this case, you pass it a parameter. I can tell that because there's the question mark and domain equals fullcontact.com. So that's the domain you're going to look up, right? Um, here it's saying see, parameters. It doesn't domain keep. Oh, keep people. Interesting. So it looks like keep people. I didn't, I didn't do this. Um, keep people optional. So how do I pass that? And the key pe under the key people field, we'll return under. The, if true, okay. So let's let's add key people equals true. That probably I think that's poorly documented, but um, we'll see if it's highlighted anywhere. I don't see it. You think they give you an example of that? Um, yeah. Okay. That's all right. I mean, this is this is part of the fun of APIs and figuring out what um, is and isn't there. And, and true could be either the word true or a one, I would gather. But we're going to come back to my AutoHockey script. Um, here I have my API um, secret token saved in this auth.ini file, and this reads it in and stores it here. And this way, I don't have to keep changing my user token. Um, so that's my secret value, which of course could... They have a certain number for free, um, and then you have to pay it after a given level, um, and so um, I can't, let me see, I can grab this part, I'll just bring it over here and show you. So here, this is saying um, I've done one API call using the person one, um, The um, and here are, let me bring them over here, the, the problem is the token's on the other page, and I don't, we just don't feel like refreshing that up into my stuff. So. Here with the free, I have a free account, and I can do um, 250 matches on people. Um, I can do 250 matches by domain or by the company name, and then I have disposable emails. I can do 10, and to get this, this is misleading to me, but it was the uh, my stats of what my metrics are and stuff, and so that's why there's so many. You can check and see how many have left, and it's not. So again, they have a free account. Um, and that's what I'm using right now. I just don't want too many calls to, to go over my limits. Um, right here, okay, so here's the first endpoint, which is what I was showing you off of that other page, right? Let me see if I can copy that. Fine. Oh, actually, so I changed it to, see how that's, they have .json, and I just prefer getting XML back. So you can, you can just change it to .json or .xml, depending on which one you want back. And that's my endpoint. My query string, I pass, I wrote a little um, function that'll that'll take the key value pairs. And here, right now, it's domain and full contact. And so when I put a message box here of query string, save, reload, I'm going to launch this. It's just showing me right now. This is right now. Is is it? See how I put in the question mark domain and then equals full contact. Now when I add, because I think we saw, I'm going to add a comma here, and quote, um, and what was the, uh, let's go back to it, because I can't remember anything. Um, something with, with sen not senior people, but where are we? Company, API overview, full contact, key people. Alright, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to put in, oh, apparently I had something before, so, key people and a colon and I'm going to set this to true. Often case matters so I'm going to go back and look at what um, how they use it here. Key people blah blah blah. If true and it's I see it lowercase here so I'm going to make it lowercase here just to 
and now let me show you when I reload and run this. See my query stream? How it put in the um, it the first one is always should always be a question mark. After that, all the key value pairs you should be passing a ampersand, um, the the word that you want, and then the equal sign, and then the value. So this is the key, the value, the um, the key, the value, right? Key value, key value. Um, I just did this to show you what gets passed, and then basically. In this example, my um, these two get concatenated together, and you actually in this full contact API you you can they give you the option to pass your user token or the key. This key I can pass it through the URL. However, it's it's just not as secure, and so they they have a um, let me see if it's on that page. I think it was. So see here how in the curl example, they're giving you a curl example, this is the dash H, and that's for the header. They're showing you how, um, let me zoom in a little here. So that, in auto hotkey, turns into this. So I'm setting a header, and that's what the dash H is in curl. And see the x dash full contact dash API key? That's what I put in here, and then I'm passing it as a variable, so it's outside of quotes. I'm passing my key. So, let's give this a whirl here. I'm going to save it, reload it, and launch it. It basically is going to um, it's going to pass the endpoint and the query string to my API call, which is li these lines right here. Right? Um, so, you know what? Also, I meant to do this before. I thought I did. Um, I guess I did that in a different one. I'm trying to keep them consistent with just this is just a name of what you're using it for, but um, I'm trying to keep it all with just HTTP just to keep it simple and, and consistent. So I'm creating a com object. I then opened and I use a get command. Um, this could either, this, I think there's like five or six different things, uh, but the get and post are by far most frequently ones used. Um, in this case, we're doing a get, make sure it stays uppercase. And I'm passing it here, the combination of that key value, I'm sorry, the um, endpoint and query string concatenated together. Um, I, that's what this is doing right here. And I set my header, and then I send it, and then this gets the response text. And I'm going to display it because I have this my little site output function, which dumps it down here. So let's see what happens here. All right, so that just ran. And this is the data it returned. Um, let's see here. I don't remember what... Um, Oh, so this is the fullcontact.com. This was their their website. And actually, they it's nice. They build that in so it's free. You can develop your code. And you don't have to pay for that. But let me go ahead and change that to... I don't know if it would automatically parse that, but let's get that out of there. So I'm going to um, run this again. But before I do, I'm curious. Email address. Oh, interesting. So it, it, it might even return some email addresses. Um, founded in 2010, numbers, and then peep, key people. So here are the people, and this is where, if this is XML um, getting returned, and this is where you'd have to parse it to go grab this and save it um, programmatically. But here are, the, here are the key people there. Looks like it has their name, title, Oh, I see, a link to the person, so you could go grab them individually if you wanted each one, you know, a specific one. Um, I was hoping it would have, like, their LinkedIn profile or full contact blog, comments, feeds. Oh, this is back to the um, the website information. So let me run this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this. I don't know if mine's in here. I, I didn't do this before. Um, so keywords on the business. Looks like it's got a lot of information about the company. All right, I'm going to... Um, run it and let's see if it pulls back oh yes look at that so not as much information right here's here's my um, information so this is my website that's the name oh look five employees I, I do the work of five people so I guess that counts um, founded in 2012 that, that's about right how oh, long was that early anyway um, URL automate so that was one of my most re it wasn't that recent. Um, I'm curious how they pulled that one, but um, it's it's information about the the company right here. Are the keywords I have, which those all are, are true. Um, rank. I wonder what rank that is. Uh, 
social profiles. Yeah, and um, it looks like key people. It didn't. It didn't have anybody, um, which makes sense to me, right? Is I'd be surprised if they did. But uh, that was using the company lookup, and now I'm going to show you here. I I could have done a couple things also. I could have put this into a function, and then I just could change these two and pass it to the same thing. Um, I'm being a little lazy here, and I want to keep it easier to understand. So I'm going to comment that out, and I'm going to uncomment um, this one. So the person lookup, that was the company lookup, right? The person lookup, all I do is I change the endpoint to say go here for person, right? Instead of slash company slash lookup, this one goes here to person with XML, and I'm going to pass it an email address, my email address, right? The query string. And so if I was to put a message box up here, you'd see it was question mark, um, emails equal email equals Joe at the um, but let's just go ahead and then it's gonna still re repurpose this and dump it into my output window so save reload launch now this just went and got information apparently about me well maybe better said my email address um, likelihood of being accurate I think is, is probably out of one um, I saw this stuff on LinkedIn. I'm curious. Oh, so that is interesting. Let's. You know what? Let, I'm out. Of, I'm just curious. What? Uh, what image that? Oh, that's that is my current LinkedIn image. Um, yes, I I do a lot in AutoHotKey. Um, and and join me on LinkedIn and add AutoHotKey to your profile if you haven't. It's a it's a great thing to catch people's eye. Um, here's my Gravatar. I wonder what that is. It's probably my my uh, data cowboy one. No, oh, just that. Interesting. I don't. I have no idea where that's from. Um, my web. Oh, look at that. They actually tied. Oh, they're probably using the email domain from the email address. They didn't actually look that up. Is my guess. Just parsed it. Uh, my full name, and then some of the places where I had worked. Where one was TI, which is the most recent. So here, start date. 2007. Yeah, that was about right. Um, here's my data cowboy stuff. So anyway, that's the uh, API pull on that. They also have one where you can you can do the same call, but instead use a phone number. And so here, I'm passing it instead of email. I'm passing. I tell it, hey, the thing that this key value pair, the key is phone, and I'm going to pass it a phone number. Um, it it should return. This is I think this is Bart's um, phone number. But it uh, it goes and pulls information about associates that phone number. Let's see, Facebook, 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 Gravatar, Foursquare, Pinterest. Uh, oh, interesting. I wonder whose email address that is. That's um, full name Bart Lorong. Okay. So anyway, um, that is those are that's two examples of the. Uh, which one am I using here? Uh, full contact API. So that was a domain lookup, um, the person lookup, and they, and they have different flavors of it. One you can check to see if it's a a bad um, if the email is actually likely a a, a free or a, a junk email address. It'll tell you the validity, um, the likelihood of it. Email verification. That's one thing I'm. Um, so you can you can get an idea of if it's a valid email address or not. Um, anyway, that's a, my first example here of doing API call with the uh, full contact. I will probably start adding these um, these files into my syntax writer, and then at some point here, not too long, I'll make that available. Thanks.